Today we're going to change the oil on a 1999 Porsche 996. This car has this protective plate. This protective plate is part of the X74 suspension package. You may or may not have this plate. Um, I'm going to remove the plate. Some people don't. I usually make a mess when I do not remove the plate. It's only held on by three bolts. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. If you don't have a nice 8mm socket for that drain plug, that would be like that, you can use like a regular Allen wrench. And if you don't have enough leverage, you can put like another wrench on it, like, an oak, like a box end wrench, and use that for more leverage. But a socket like this is only a few bucks at Sears. I highly recommend it. Make sure your oil catch pan is in place. Have a lift so that makes it easy. But if you're just working on the ground, make sure you have your pan under, under the drain plug. I like to wear latex gloves because it does help keep me a little cleaner. So we're just going to undo the drain plug. Line everything up. Let the oil sploosh in. Get to the point of the oil coming out, move it to the side, and there it goes. Some people like to drain the oil when the engine's hot. The oil will be thinner and will drain out faster. Um, this happens to be cold, so I'm just going to let it drain extra long and let it drain until it's really just come down to a uh, drips coming down. Now that the oil has pretty much come to a trickle, I had noticed when I took the drain plug off, here's the, uh, the drain plug, the aluminum drain plug, there's supposed to be a washer that's on the surface. This washer hasn't actually come off yet. It should still be up here. Oh, no, here it is. It's in, my, it's in my oil bucket. There's the washer. It came off. So this washer sits on top of the, the drain plug like that to make a good seal. So I'm going to wipe all these things off and make them clean. While this is doing its final dripping, I'm going to go ahead and remove the oil filter, which is this plastic container right here. A really good tool for this is a, is a special socket that fits on this filter exactly. That way you don't have to use pliers, you don't have to try to struggle with it. It's, it's made for this. It fits Audis and BMWs. It's kind of a universal European oil filter socket. Definitely worth picking up. So I'm going to move my drip tray over just enough so it still catches the train plug drip. And now I can undo this filter. Comes. It's usually a little full of oil. This is the actual filter element, this paper element, and this is just kind of a plastic housing for it. This element will just pull right down and let this drain for a few minutes. When you get your new filter, if you get it from Porsche, they usually are nice enough to provide you with a new drain plug sealing ring along with it. Sometimes if you order it from uh, just a warehouse or a, you know, a foreign auto parts store, you might have to get this washer separately. But I always recommend replacing this washer every single time. I have seen reused washers leak, so uh, a new washer is a good thing to do. So there's the new washer on the cleaned off drain plug ready to go. Inside the oil filter box we not only have the, the filter, the paper element, but we usually have an o-ring. So there's the paper element, and here's the o-ring. This o-ring 
It's a replacement O-ring for the O-ring that's on the oil filter housing here. The easiest way to take this off is to use like a little screwdriver and kind of just, you know, hook it underneath and then you can just pry that off. When we go to put our new O-ring on, we don't want to put it on dry. We want to get it a little oily or a little grease or something. I luckily have a little bit of oil left in the bottom of that, so I'm just going to kind of dip that in and with my fingers. Rub it all the way around. I guess this is the equivalency to uh, in the you know the old time standard oil filters where you put a little oil around the outside. Now that this O-ring is lubed up, I'm just going to stretch it over and get it down in the groove down there. So now it's in the groove on that. I'm going to wipe everything off just to keep things clean. be ready to put back in the car. One thing that's kind of fun to do is to kind of look at the general health of your engine. You can take your old oil filter, the one that we've just taken off the car, and we're going to pry off the, the plastic end caps and we're going to open up the paper element to see what we find in metal filings or things like that. A screwdriver can be used to kind of help push through and pry this cap off. Sometimes you just have to kind of punch through and tear the paper because it's best to do it this time. Anyhow, we get that torn off. Do the same for the other side. And now we can open this paper element up. There's another little plastic support on the inside. Kind of tear, tear through this. Open it up like an accordion. We can inspect both sides and see what we see. Perhaps since I mentioned you open up, I don't know if you can see this little shiny bit right there in the bottom of that groove. That's normal. If there was a lot, if it looked kind of like a you know a sparkly, I don't know, spark sparkly New Year's Eve decoration, something like that. Lots of little metal shiny bits then you would have something to worry about. As long as it looks relatively clean, it's catching stuff, it's doing its job, and everything's good to go. Alright, I'm ready to put everything back together now. I'm going to put the oil drain plug back in. I've got my new washer on the oil drain plug. And it's important to use that new washer. I'll put it in. Now this the official spec on this is 37 foot-pounds tightening torque. If you don't have a torque wrench, that's probably the equivalent to medium tight. And it's all aluminum, you don't want to over tighten it. So 37 foot-pounds is about right there. There's the torque wrench clicking. So that's 37 foot-pounds. Wipe it clean. Now for our oil filter, we first push the paper element up over the stub. It kind of goes into place. And now we put the, the housing on. And the official torque for this oil filter housing is 19 foot pounds, which if you don't have a torque wrench, it's just a little bit past snug, not very tight at all. So, just right to there. And I'm ready to put the protective cover back in place. Now add 8.7 quarts of oil and you're all set.